So I spent a full day driving a car, trying to get its emission monitors to set. What are the pain in the neck, right? Only for it to say the catalytic converters that I know were good were bad. It's got a brand new catalytic converter. It's got a steady stream of rich on its O2, rear O2 sensor. And yet, it's got a bad catalytic converter. One. Two. Two. Three. Four. Welcome to the D.E. Nichols channel. Autobotter.com Well, I thought if there's ever a time for mechanic in a can, instead of a mechanic, since we already replaced the catalytic converter and everything upstream of the catalytic converter, no misfires, every little tiny detail of its air fuel mixture, everything was spot on, perfect on this car. Put a bottle of Cataclean in it and those occasional dips to lean that are okay to happen on a good cat disappeared. So hey, Cataclean seems to work. I'm not even going to say what car it was because it doesn't even matter. It's just that if you've got a catalytic converter that's slightly weak, apparently it's worth a shot. I'm still waiting back with from even more driving. Someone else in the company is going to drive it to see if it sets, but I'd be doubly shocked I was before if it sets with how steady those numbers are. I've heard Seafoam have similar folks for other people, but I worry about how Seafoam achieves that because it gets oil on the catalytic converter and actually causes damage. So even if it makes you pass your emissions, you're causing more damage to put off replacing it until later when you'll need even more. I don't know, that's kind of my opinion. I've seen people report that it works over and over again, but for me, no. Uh, usually, there's something upstream of the catalytic converter that's a problem, or the converter itself. So, that's what I'm mostly going to stick to, but uh, Cataclean worked. I mean, it worked. But regardless, get out there and work on something. Don't make you feel good about yourself.